We are now in section seven, recommendations for practice success. There will be only one question from this topic in the exam, and that question will be a application questions or Bloom's level three question. These recommendations are based or are supported by the seven ITIL guiding principles. These are meant for practice success. You might rem remember there were some recommendations for automation, but these are recommendations for the overall practice success. A quick summary of the seven guiding principles, focus on value, start where you are, progress iteratively with feedback, collaborate and promote visibility, think and work holistically, keep it simple and practical, optimize and automate. And these were covered in detail in the ITIL Foundation course. Let us see what the recommendations are for the success of this practice and how they connect with the various guiding principles. The first one is to look at the incidents from the service consumer perspective, meaning focus a lot on user satisfaction. Do not just think about meeting the SLAs and just to satisfy the SLAs. It is important to restore the service level, which satisfies the users also. Meaning even though the SLA is signed just with the customer, uh, with the service provider, between the service provider and the customer that is, but there are users who are using the functionalities. Therefore, it is important to satisfy each and every user as, mu as much as possible. And incidents which are detected based on monitoring, which is automated detection. Uh, and it can mean that in such situations, no users are actually impacted yet, but even then the business impact should be assessed and the incident should be tackled as soon as possible. Depending on the understanding of its uh, impact, priority, et cetera. And that's why we have this next one. Incidents needs to be prioritized according to their business impact, be it a user reported or a monitoring detected. Therefore, this leads us uh, to conclude that this is focus on value for users and customers, and therefore important to collaborate uh, among the technical teams and also with the users and customer to understand their needs and to promote visibility of what's going on with the incident. Next one is to gather and reuse data. And this is important because incidents recur. Workarounds can sometimes lead to the incident surfacing again, and therefore uh, gathering data and reusing that is uh, important. And this can help in saving significant amount of time and resources. Uh, what I mean there is uh, develop incident models for different types of incidents and uh, reuse the known solutions for those categories of incidents. For example, there may be some known solutions for network incidents, similarly for database incidents, information security ones, servers, uh, email systems, data centers, and so on. Uh, which means that we are not relying on individuals uh, to be present, but the knowledge is available and can be quickly learned by others. They can be training to others on the various incident models. Uh, the, it is important to motivate people. We have seen that in the team dynamics earlier under the organization and people dimension and important for people to share their knowledge rather than just document. Then, so sharing means that there can be sometimes some kind of a learning session where somebody can speak about their experiences or um, a document can be shared, but just sharing a document doesn't ensure that people have actually read the document. It has to be through formal training. Tools can be very useful, automation tools that we learned earlier. Uh, this can help to manage knowledge. So for example, a knowledge management tool or a solution, uh, automated solutions when an incident occurs. For example, when an incident is detected by the monitoring system, a command could be automatically run. So here we have the optimize and automate and the collaborate and promote visibility. And the collaborate is coming up because the team members need to be involved to do the uh, gathering and reusing of data to uh, share their knowledge and uh, have the visibility to the knowledge. The next one is to understand, manage, and improve the incident resolution value stream, not just the incident management practice, because the incident life cycle, though it focuses on the resolution value stream, but it uh, integrates a lot with the service desk, change enablement, problem management, and other practices, because sometimes incidents may require a change to be deployed. So we have even deployment management, not only change enablement, release management, therefore, service validation and testing uh, and all that. Therefore, uh, it is important that uh, the value stream functions smoothly. The workflow of the value stream, which involves several practices, should function smoothly, rather than only thinking about the steps within the incident management processes. 
in the older world in ITIL V3, we were looking at incident management as a specific process. But now in the ITIL 4 newer world in digital complex environments, we have the concept of the value stream, uh, meaning a value stream is a series of steps an organization undertakes to create products and services and therefore enable and co-create value. And therefore, uh, multiple practices will be together. So this is about thinking and working holistically, that principle and focusing on value.